ago, Russian artillery shells ripped apart various military and civilian buildings. Troops and tanks forcefully stormed the streets of northern Ukraine. Russia is calling it a special military operation to enforce peace within the independent eastern part of Ukraine. But you've probably seen plenty of footage that has shown what the Russian army's definition of peacemaking entails. Whenever there is a tragic event, there's no shortage of people that truly want to stand up and help the victimized parties. Within that large population, you'll see many different avenues to help Ukraine. Whether it's organizing a food delivery to UNICEF or enlisting in the US military to help fend off the Russian army, there's many powerful options to assist our Ukrainian allies. If you do decide to help out, make sure that you choose an option that directly helps them. There's going to be many different companies and people that will change their logos, change their profile pictures, and put pro-Ukraine signs in their own lawn to publicly show that they stand with the people of Ukraine. While it is true that raising public awareness of a problem is important, legacy and independent media news outlets are already doing a good job of updating the general public. Given some of those outlets are doing a better job than others, Overall, the collective number of news networks are effectively spreading general awareness of the situation in Ukraine. If the collective number of news networks are already effectively spreading general awareness to most of the American population, how much help is really provided when someone simply changes their profile picture or a company logo? Sure, if Pepsi, the NFL, or Amazon briefly change the color of their logo, tens of millions of people will become aware of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, if they aren't already. However, most people and companies don't have the social reach of Amazon or Pepsi. While I personally encourage you to provide strong support for Ukrainian allies, I ultimately can't and won't force you to. If you do decide to stand up and assist Ukraine, make sure that you actually provide support instead of just publicly displaying support. You don't have to volunteer to be on the battlefield opposing the Russian army. You don't have to use your bare hands to rebuild Ukrainian buildings once the fighting stops. You don't even have to casually donate several thousand dollars to help pay the construction companies that will be leading the charge on rebuilding Ukraine. However, you do have to make a decision as to whether or not the situation is important to you. You don't have to announce your decision to the world if you don't want to. However, you have decided that the situation in Ukraine is important to you. If you have, stand up and do more than just change your profile picture or company logo. Even a small donation to emergency organizations that are helping Ukraine, like Save the Children, IRC, or the UN Refugee Agency could be critical at this point. But don't worry, even if you can only afford to show up to work and boost the economy and the signals of those organizations, you will still be making a worthwhile difference. It is important during disorderly times to remain calm, unified, and strong. In the words of Kiko, together we can, nos autem una. In my words, together we are strong. Forza soli, fortiores, una.